so this is the third question related to four variable POS key map simplification so we have the boolean expression given in terms of max term values so what we have to do is simply we have to map these values to the k-map we have the format of the k-map ready with us okay so the values are max term values are 1 2 5 6 8 9 15 okay so please watch the videos related to min terms max terms sop pos basics of carnot map uh, about two three four variable sop and pos k maps and then watch this video okay so we'll map the values 1 2 5 6 8 9 and 15 okay so we have mapped these values now we have to form the groups so you see 8 and 9 cells 8 and 9 we can join to form a pair 1 and 5 we can join to form a pair 2 and 6 we can join to form a pair this 15 it will remain single okay so it has no cell um, which is which is marked which is adjacent to it either horizontally or vertically above or below or sidewise okay so never okay j form groups like this okay cross grouping don't do it the marked cell should either be vertically above or below or horizontally sidewise left or right not crossways okay so don't do that either this way or this way the grouping it is not allowed so it will remain as one single element group so now we have to identify the common variables from these group so first let us consider this pair okay vertical component is c or d bar horizontal components are a or b a or b bar so in the vertical side we have this is common c or d bar in the horizontal side we have a common so for this it is a or c or d bar okay now this pair so for this pair the horizontal components are the same as this so we'll keep it only the vertical component will change here it is c bar or t okay you understand for these two pairs horizontal components are the same only the vertical component is changing previously for this it was c or d bar now it is here c bar or d so here for this group the common set of variables are here also a is common in the horizontal side and the vertical side we have c bar or t s common so it is a or c bar or t okay now for this pair okay for this pair the horizontal component is a bar or p the vertical components are c bar or d c or t bar so you see this whole component horizontal component it is common for this two marked cells and the vertical side we have c common so it is a bar or b or c and for this single cell we have a bar or b bar in the horizontal side and the vertical side we have c bar or t bar so it will be the whole total horizontal component or vertical component so 
all total the simplified boolean expression will be combining these two common set of variables which is y is equal to a or c bar or d then a or c or d bar then a bar or b or c then this a bar or b bar or c bar or d bar this is the simplified boolean expression okay so for this bos expression this is the simplified boolean expression okay so this is the fourth question related to pos k map simplification so this is the boolean expression uh, given in terms of max term values we have the format of the pos k map ready with us so directly we'll map the uh, respective cells so the values are the max term values 0 1 2 3 5 6 7 12 and 12 so simple we will mark the cells first so 0 1 2 3 5 6 7 12 okay now we have to form the groups so here first 0 1 3 these four cells we will form a quad okay next 1 3 5 7 we can combine to form a quad okay now pay attention to cells 3 2 7 we will combine them also to form a quad so again please watch the videos related to group formation sop and pos basics carnot map basics so only then you will you will get the feel of these group formations and other things so please watch those videos first there i have discussed how the what are the rules of group formation and uh, what are the necessary conditions that must be fulfilled while forming a group all that so here we up to this point we have formed three quads now this cell it has no marked cell adjacent to it whether above below or sideways left or right so it will be a single element group now all the marked cells have been covered with groups have been group now we have to identify the common variables okay so for this quad 0 1 3 okay the horizontal component is a or b vertical components are c or d c or d bar c bar or d bar c bar or d now in the vertical side there is nothing common okay the vertical components there is nothing common only the horizontal component is the common element here the common set of variables okay so for this quad a or b is the common set of variables next the quad involving cells 1 3 5 7 okay the horizontal components are a or b a or b bar the vertical components c or d bar c bar or d bar okay so here in the horizontal side we have a common in the vertical side we have d bar common so here it is a or d bar okay involving 1 3 5 7 this quad the horizontal side we have a common 
vertical side d bar so a or d bar now the quad involving cells 3 2 7 6 okay 3 2 7 6 the vertical component c bar or d bar and c bar or d horizontal components a or b a or b bar okay so here we have in the horizontal side a common in the vertical side we have c bar common so for this we have a or c bar as a common set of variables next is this single element which will be the horizontal and vertical components will be involved that is a bar for this single element we have both the horizontal and vertical components that will be involved that is a bar or b bar or c or d okay for this a bar or b bar and C plus C or D. So, the simplified Boolean expression will be combining these common set of variables that is A or B, A or D bar, A or C bar and A bar or B bar or C or D. This is the simplified boolean expression this so for this pos expression this is the simplified boolean expression okay